Hello Summoners, Matthew from the Nintendo Treehouse here with some quick tips for the Fire Emblem Heroes game. Book 6 has come to a close, and we find ourselves with both a legendary and a mythic hero that played a huge part in the story now available to summon. That story focused on the conflict between the countries of Asker and Embla and the history of their founding gods. One of these gods was Embla. Long ago, Asker, the god of openness, and Embla, the god of closure, lent their power to mortals. However, there came a time when greed motivated the mortals to point their swords towards Embla to tap into her power. Shocked, Embla went to Asker to inform him of the threat mortals posed to the gods, but Asker continued to believe in them regardless of her arguments, and they could not come to an agreement. The distance between the two's friendship grew wider as Embla, unable to trust mortals, tightened her grip and moved to control them. Now, Embla is a powerful beast unit that can isolate her foes from their allies. Her weapon, Enclosing Claw, is Chaka Block with effects that can give her many advantages over her foe. If she is at 25% HP or more, she can increase her own combat stats by plus 5 each in combat, lower most of her foe's stats by up to minus 9 in combat, and nullify effects that negatively affect her special cooldown charge. In addition to the HP condition, if she has more than two foes within three rows or three columns, she can neutralize effects that guarantee her foe's follow-up attacks and initiate a special cooldown penalty per attack on her foe. Attack Speed Clash 4 can give her additional bonuses to attack and speed based on the number of spaces moved by the unit initiating combat, and if that number is two or more, she can also neutralize any penalties to those stats. Untransformed, she would only be able to move two spaces. However, her B skill Beast Agility 3 will guarantee that she can permanently remain in beast mode on the map and enable her to move three spaces on her turn to help trigger the conditions for her A skill. Additionally, if her speed stat is higher than her foes, she can nullify any effect that would prevent her own follow-up attack in battle. However, she's not done yet, as her C skill Severance secludes foes within three rows or three columns of her at the start of the turn inflicting statuses that disable help from their allies' skills, including Xavier. If any foe is within that cross, she also neutralizes non-stat penalties on herself and gains dodge status to reduce the damage she takes in battle. The huge area of effect that Severance carries, along with her good movement, make her a great addition to your team defending the Aether Keep in Dark Season, and most team makeups will be able to take advantage of the penalties she can dole out to invaders. Since there are no conditions needed for her to transform into a beast, she can always perform at her full potential even without other beasts or dragons on her team. Next up is the Princess of Embla and descendant of the Empress that originally was gifted with the blood of Embla, Veronica. Similar to Embla, Veronica was also once lonely and selfish. However, her time spent with the Askren royalty wore away at those feelings and now she hopes to join them in their fight to protect the people of both countries. This version of Veronica is a highly offensive, win season legendary unit that can use hit and run tactics to decimate foes and retreat to safety. Her weapon, Enclosing Dark, neutralizes effects that prevent her follow up attack and grants her bonuses to her attack and speed when initiating combat or is not adjacent to an ally. Also, she inflicts different penalties to speed and resistance up to minus eight based on the number of foes near her target and can prevent their counter attack if conditions are met. What's more, if she initiates combat, she can make her follow-up attack before the foe counters. Finally, the weapon also accelerates her special trigger, making her unique special Enclosure a one-count special. This special will boost damage by 25% of her attack stat while neutralizing her target's ability to reduce damage with non-special skills. Furthermore, it also neutralizes penalties to her that would inflict a negative charge to her special, so it should be extremely easy to trigger often. Attack Speed Catch 4 and Speed Resistance Far Trace work in combination to further increase her offensive stats while weakening her foe's defenses. This also means that she will likely have the speed advantage to trigger her special in most combat situations and will do bigger damage when the special does trigger. Her final skill, Panic Smoke 4, not only inflicts panic on her target and foes within two spaces of the target, but additionally inflicts minus three on their stats and grants foe penalty doubler to herself and allies in cardinal directions after combat. Veronica is best used as an offensive first strike unit that blasts and punishes foes, then utilizes far trace to get far enough away to avoid any attacks on the enemy phase. 
She functions best with high movement offensive allies that can make quick work of a map, or a strong defensive line that she can weave in and out of. In Book 6, Embla had the power to control Veronica and other descendants of Thrashir. Now, the tables have turned, and you have the power to control both. Just try to be a little nicer about it than Embla was. Well, that's all for today, Summoners. Good luck!